let's just talk briefly about Iran. That's another topic on which uh, France, the United States, and other uh, European countries obviously are working toward a deal coming up in July. Are you optimistic that a deal can be reached uh, with Iran to limit its nuclear program? We know that France played a very important role in towing a harder sure. line early on in these negotiations. Sure. Uh, I would say that negotiations are serious but difficult by definition. It could, could not be otherwise, quite frankly. Here, you know, uh, our views is that a nuclear-armed Iran is simply unacceptable for at least three reasons. Number one, because it would mean a uh, threat and potentially an existential threat for the security of Israel. Number two, because a nuclear-armed Iran would uh, trigger an arms race and potentially a nuclear arms race in the Middle East. Is that what we need, and beyond, by the way, is it what we need in the most volatile region of the world? And number three, if you think about it, a nuclear-armed Iran would mean the demise of the uh, non-proliferation international regime that we together patiently built over the last decades. So it's not an option. So if, again, if we believe in our core values, if we, the US, France, a couple of others, P5 plus one, are really committed to world security, we have to have a deal, but not at any cost. A deal that is in line with our key requirements, which is not to make possible for Iran to acquire nuclear weapons, period. And so we have to remain tough. Mm -hmm. If we can have an agreement, of course, that would be the best option. Otherwise, we'll have to continue to negotiate together with our P5 plus one uh, partners on the basis of a you know, strong position. Mr. Ambassador, I don't want you to uh, put you in a position to engage in negotiations here on the program, but do you know what Paris would minimally expect from Iran in exchange for easing of more sanctions, either vis-a-vis -vis uranium enrichment <laughs> or ballistic missile program? These are two sticking points. You know, there are so many parameters, mm -hmm. frankly, in the negotiation. You know, Iraq and the plutonium reactor, and then the enrichment uh, dossier, so to speak, mm -hmm. and then the uh, you know militarization of the whole thing. So I cannot say in a few words what would be the French requirement. The French requirement is clear. We have to remain firm. And if agreement should it be, which of course we wish, it should be according to our terms.